Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth, Joe, here with a tier list making stream, live stream, in which, now that I've officially finished all of the Nancy Drew games, except that one, we are going to do a tier list of all of them. The official ranking, which was it back in, um, it was back in, was it September? When did I, December? November, September, October? I did a... A, a little bit of a tier list, but there were still some games I hadn't completed yet or hadn't played. So this is going to be probably very different from that one. So yes, yeah, Shell Cottages. It was the September uh, stream. We were doing a charity stream and I've forgotten what I ranked everything. So this is, pretend you um, didn't see that, but if you did miss it, go back and watch it. It was great. But this is going to be different because I don't remember a lot of things about life. Oh my gosh, God X Divine, thank you for kicking us off with 10 freaking gift subs. Holy cow, keep those good goods, goods going. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Heck yeah, look at us getting to that sub goal. We are doing the dossiers. We have all of the Nancy Drew games down here, including dossier and the other dossiers in there somewhere. Here it is. Um, so yeah, I and I may add some tiers as well as we continue along for funsies, you know. And Emma, thank you for the bits too. I appreciate that. I think we should go in chronological order of when they were made. So we're going to start with Secrets Can Kill, which is this one. And <laughs> I didn't play that one. Well, I didn't play the original. I played the remake. As you can see down here, we've got both the original and the remake. Maybe I'll play the original someday. I've been told it's almost impossible to get running on a modern computer. But I feel like I've done that challenge before. So maybe, but Secrets Can Kill the Re... Oh, oh my God, they really started this series with a dead kid, didn't they? Hold on, Secrets Can Kill. I have it open so I can remember the plots. Um, plot, Nancy takes a semester. By the way, this is gonna be a long tier list. We're here for a long time and I'm stretching it out. Nancy gets a gun in the original... Uh, Nancy takes a semester off school to visit Aunt Heloise, Eloise. Oh, okay. So we asked a, uh, a teenager to investigate a dead, a dead. Got it. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna give it a C. <laughs> a C because I don't know that I'd ever replay this one again. But I remember and also being um, upset that I had to go back to school. Upset because it reminded me too much of school and I don't like school. Also, it started off with a slide puzzle, if I remember correctly. And y'all know a slide puzzle is not it for me. I don't do slide puzzles. Uh, next, we have Message in a Haunted Mansion. Um... I just saw it. Here it is. Message in a haunted... Ma now, what was that? <laughs> oh, the renovations. Have you seen some of my renovations? In San Francisco, they had a seance, and then someone was sleeping in the basement. Well, do we remember anything weird that happened in that one? I don't remember that one being particularly, like, um... Particularly wild... And it was the guy, I don't even remember who really did it. <laughs> we skipped Stay Tuned for Danger. Oh, the, oh, never mind. Okay, we'll do that one <laughs> next. We'll do So I'm now, I'm, I'm in this place now. I'm in Haunted Mansion now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, um, yeah, a Haunted Mansion in San Francisco, so, you know, it's kind of okay. We're going to put that one in C as well. Um, cause it was, not, it was memorable, but I don't remember it. If you know, you know. Is that the one where it was so hard to walk down the stairs? Or is that a different one? That one had really bad controls, didn't it? It was hard to, yes, the light fi- Oh, okay, wait a minute. The light fixture fell on the man, so it- C for chandelier almost killing someone. C for chandelier. That's what we're doing. 
Siren Slayer, thank you for the 19 freaking months, by the way. Francie B with the 14 months. Thank you so much. And Final Kate, thank you for the bits. We're here for a long time. Joe Nicole, thank you for the bits too. Okay, I, we're, we're so early and I've already skipped one, which is um, stay tuned for danger. Y'all, this one was good. I wouldn't call it best of the best, but the beginning of this one made me laugh so hard. Because all of the photoshopping in the pictures, we were on the set of a soap opera. Everyone was a wax figure. It had drama. It had pettiness. It had, why am I here? What am I doing? So iconic. That unhinged pictures. It was, it was camp. It was a great one. We're going to have to put that one in A. Oh, Nancy's scrapbook. Oh, that would be a good idea, but uh, I'm just going to go on the Wikipedia. Treasure in a Royal Tower. Let me tell you about her. This is game number four. Um, treasure in a Royal Tower. This one right here. When I tell you about her, this one had royalist sympathies. So the, well, it, this one gave us some good things, gave us some other things. It gave us journal. It gave us, um, now did it play, take place in Minnesota or Wisconsin? It gave us Marie Antoinette's Royal Tower plopped down in the middle of Wisconsin. That's what it was. Marie Antoinette's brick by brick castle relocated to Wisconsin. Um, I will tell you, but then it gave us royalist sympathies, which we don't have. Um, but then it gave us the cage that fell on somebody. Oh, Hodgkiss. And there was the journalist. Lisa! We got Hodgkiss and Lisa. I'm going to have to give this one. I would definitely play this one again. So I'm going to give it an A. Um, which I feel like is better than I ranked it in the past. But remembering Journal. Is that's the was a good part. Davi Day, thank you for the bids. I'm just ranking them all in general, all in general. Uh, but I'm more likely to replay the ones that are up here. I'm sure. Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits too. Daisy Crit, thank you for the bids. I hope work goes well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, the final scene. <sighs> Let me set the scene for y'all. That's this one. This took place in a movie theater in St. Louis. Maya was kidnapped in a theater in St. Louis. It had the guy with the big dumpy. Y'all kept mentioning his big dumpy. And at the end, she was in this like capsule oh this was the guy that was this one the janitor named joe who did it yeah i don't know how that i don't know how that man kidnapped maya he didn't have anywhere else to go when the movie theater was being knocked down so he sabotaged it um i have to tell you i don't remember much about this one aside from the plot i'm gonna give it a c well I mean, St. Louis is where my family lives, but I don't, I'm not going to rate it on that. Joe, the janitor always popping out. Is this where 20 minutes more came from? 20 minutes left? I don't remember where that came from either. That's the origin of 20. Okay. We'll give it B for, um, the, I've, but that was something y'all we did y'all did not something the game gave us but if we're going based on memories then we'll do b oh you got a clip of that b for lore we'll put it on b for lore okay i guess we're ranking these as an ideal as well the it's you know things are changing as we develop this list 
It's not just based on the game anymore. Apparently, it's based on the friends we made along the way. Apparently, this is Nancy Drew best friend race. Okay. Okay. The chat has, has spoken. Next, we have Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Y'all, this had one of my favorite moments in a Nancy Drew game. Where is it? I don't even remember who fell. It's here. I don't even remember who fell off of a roof. I don't remember why they fell off of a roof. But they got amnesia. <laughs> and I was not expecting it. It was one thing I had never expected. Also, we got locked in an ancient monolith with a dead body. Which, honestly, would be mentally scarring to, I think, anyone except Nancy. Therapy. I don't remember Henrik. Oh, and this is the one with the cookie, too! This is the one with the poop cookies. Who's Henrik? Henrik? Oh, <laughs> I remember Henrik. All right, so Henrik fell off the roof. And what was this? Was this? Oh, and this happened in Washington, D.C. Look all around me. That's where I am. So this one kind of had a lot of iconic moments. Um, I think we have to put this one in B tier. I think I used a lot. Of, hold on. Also, simultaneously while we're doing this, I'm I'm checking on a DHL package. So I'll be pausing it when it's two stops away. Just so we're aware of where my mind is actually at what my priorities are. <laughs> so just, just let you know. Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. All right. I have a confession to make. I think y'all liked this one better than I did. This one had getting lost in the woods. I hated the woods. I hated the woods. It's Digimon mail. So it's Tamagotchi adjacent mail. I think y'all liked this one more than me. It had bird watching, which I don't like birds. Um, it had the forest. I remember a lot about the forest. I think I I think I burned to death in a shack though. It had the boat, but you know what it did have. You know what it did have. Who was the one who ran the, the general store? Was it was that Emily? Her antiques are where she may be suspicious. Was that Emily? She was, um, oh, this one had the underground speakeasy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of ghostly animals for sure. She had, um, she was fun. M was fun. Yeah, and her hair was wild, but I have to give this one a lower ranking because I just wasn't as attached to the story. I wanted to see more of the dogs. More of the dogs. I like dogs. Okay, the haunted carousel. If we're being vulnerable, this one was so short. This has to, did we do this one? And we might've done this one in one episode. If not, we did it in two. And um, it was really short. I remember also kind of figuring out who did it. I feel like rather fast. I didn't particularly like carousels because they make me motion sick. We did it in two. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember any of the characters. I remember the person who did it. Was that Elliot? I don't know if that was him. Oh, the security guard. There was Ingrid. Joy. Oh! This one had the robot that we all hated. Yeah, if we're going, if we're doing car carousel shtick, we got to give it to Barbie Detective. We got to give it to Barbie Detective. Spoil? Wait, spoilers? You shouldn't be watching this if you haven't played the game and you want to, and you're afraid of getting spoiled. Because this is me ranking all the games I played. <laughs> The Trauma Dump Robot. Miles the Magnificent magnificent Machine. I don't... Yeah, um, I'm going to have to put it in D, I think. It wasn't. I remember the puzzles weren't bad. I'm, <laughs> let's add Barbie Detective to the tier list. <laughs> We're going to put Barbie Detective in the, in the tier list.
magnificent, more like magnifa can't. <laughs> ah, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. We're gonna put it in D tier. That came out in 2003. Oh my God. Danger on Deception Island. If she isn't fresh on my mind. Magnificent. Magnificent. Sent to the bargain bin. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 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 That was the wrong sound effect. <laughs> Magnificent. More like Magnificent to the bargain bin. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Where's my package? Two stops. Okay. Uh, okay. Danger on Deception Island. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I like whales. I like, um, well, I don't like fishing, but I do like whales. So, Rach, thank you for the bits. Cosmos, thank you for the bits, by the way. Sexy Milk with the full year. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. I got to put it here. I liked organizing the books. I I didn't like the clamming. Um, I didn't like the clam chowder, but I didn't have to eat it. Ooh. Oh, if so if you're watching this on YouTube, I mentioned it earlier on the stream. I got some indigestion today, so don't be alarmed if I throw up. But <laughs> I just thought about clam chowder. What else was in Deception Island that we loved? Love lighthouses. Don't love underground. Love um, the Easter egg underground. And finally, oh, I remember the plot of this one was that they painted. <laughs> Wait a second. Y'all remember the Russians painted a whale to look like a killer whale. And then Katie was feeding it. And... <laughs> they painted that whale. So, well... The only reason I'm not putting it in best of the best is that I don't agree with painting whales. I don't agree with painting whales. So I have to put that one in A tier. <laughs> Instead of best of the best. Uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Mama, this one gave us a lot. This one gave us everything. Where is she? What does that one even look like? A Secret of Shadow... Oh, that's the horse. That's this one. <laughs> it was a, a dolphin even painted that the Russians painted to look like a killer whale a killer whale uh yeah so this one was very gay this one gave us Dave I gotta put it in best of the don't I, do I have to put it in best of the best I think I have to put it in best of the best this is the game that taught me how to um this game taught me how to pick vegetables and not pick vegetables. It taught me about riding horses. Do you remember when I accidentally, when the, when the horse died? And the, Bob the horse and Bob the horse did not make it. I remember, um, there were illicit, I don't know what illicit means. There were illicit relationships secret sh relationships define illicit <gasps> forbidden <laughs> I don't think they were forbidden they just had the hush hush relationship and then shorty came and he actually murdered us several times shorty actually the music cut out because we got serious so that one was good. That one's got to be top tier. Shoot, we're going through these. Well, we're on game 11. We've got a lot to talk about. Curse of Blackmore Manor. Can, we, can I just say... There, I have been in so many manors. Which one is this? This is, this is top tier. This gave us Jane. Oh! This had 323. This had Jane... Chucky doll, straight up Chucky doll. 
straight up shake and bake wig chucky doll jane and the best part was jane got trapped remember when jane got trapped and we left her there <laughs> this one had carbon monoxide this one might need its own tier hold on i have to create a tier for this one Chucky and carbon monoxide. So, oh, can I move this up? Okay. This tier is called Chucky and carbon monoxide. And I've got to put, where did it go? Oh, here it is. This one didn't have carbon monoxide. Oh, this one didn't have carbon monoxide. That's Blackmore. Okay. Well, and I didn't even spell Chucky right. Well, well, no, 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 because I'm going to put that one in that tier, too. No, I'm going to put that one in that tier. That was Thornton Hall. That was Thornton Hall. That goes, it's for both of the games. It's for both of the games. Don't yell at me. I knew what I was doing. Don't yell at me. I knew what I was doing. Don't yell at me. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so this one had Chucky. And this one had the weird ritual at night. <laughs> this one had... Oh, Jane would have a Megan. Jane would have a... Did this one have the parrot? Or is that some a different one? <gasps> Lulu the parrot. An intelligent 80-year-old parrot that we accidentally killed a couple times. Oh, yeah. This one had parrots. This one had Chucky. This one was great. The hair lotion, the turning into a werewolf, the bamboozlement, the shenanigans. Yeah, that one gets its own special tier. Alongside Thornton, it's, when did Thornton Hall come out? Oh, wow. Thornton Hall is way down there, huh? Where's Thornton? That's number 28. We're going to go ahead and we're going to skip to Thornton Hall real quick. These two, for whatever reason, blend together in my head because I... I use the exact same brain cell to complete both of them. If I'm being honest, hold on. Those are below A tier, but they're above B tier. So below A tier and above B tier, there is a tier called Chucky and Carbon Monoxide. Cause these two games don't deserve to be in B tier. We had a lot of fun. I like, we got to snoop around in some cemeteries in Thornton Hall. So in that one, we went to Thornton Hall. We went to Georgia. Oh, Jessalyn had disappeared. I don't even know what happened to her. I don't even care. There was an alleged ghost in this one. And then it turned out to be carbon monoxide poisoning. It turned out to be carbon monoxide poisoning. There was a good atmosphere, but I didn't like most of it. You can kill people? The lady was living in the basement. Not matching 323. Three. I mean, I'll write, I'll write 323. Three. If you really want me to. Rev Dot, thank you for the bits. Oh, I did burn down the hotel in the DC one. You are right. But that's even, that's even another reason it's good. What what was that one? Oh, Scarlet Hand. Yeah, B B for burning. B for burning down the hotel. Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits too. Gigi, thank you for the bits. Fiona, thank you for the bits. Hope you have a good day. Cloak Sword, thank you for the bits too. Bill Mill, thank you for the bits. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, Secret of the Old Clock. This is the one that took us back in time, isn't it? We like went back to the 1930s or something and I got to drive a car and I did the car break down. People would yell at us. Oh, and we gave toys to orphans. That one didn't have Jinx Monsoon in it, did it? Secret of the Old Clock. This game, is, this game is set in 1930, Great Depression. It did, That was this one? Oh, I liked the mini golf. 
I did not like driving through the town. And it was the it was the creepy guy. <gasps> this is the one where Nancy read her own mind, isn't it? This is the one where her jewel Wait, this is that one? Emily? Emily's jewelry got stolen. And it was the creepy. Oh, that guy was just weird. Richard Topham, is that his name? He had ESP. And this is the one where Nancy read her own mind. This is the one where she read her own fucking mind. Wait, this one also had... Although he's always... The guy disappeared and became like a famous actress? Is that this one? On the general seat. The pie, I remember the pie sorting. I didn't like the pie sorting. I remember the picture. The barn contra- I didn't like the barn. I don't want- So it was Clara- Clara Pickford! We love her. You know what? This one, um, it was good. I didn't like the fishing and I didn't like the driving. We have to put it solidly in B tier. Oh, this one had a Easter egg of the robot too, didn't it? Did I already rank it? I put it in B. We're gonna leave it in B. It's a solidly a B game. Okay, last train to Blue Moon Canyon. This is gonna be a difficult one to rank because it had the Hardy Boys, but the Hardy Boys looked like wax. This is when they looked like wax figures. I need a 323 permanent tattoo by 69%. By 69% what of the sub goal? I already have a tattoo on my wrist. I, I would get it on my ankle. I'll get it on my ankle. It had the rider. It, it had the rider woman. It had the... I think she was supposed to be like Paris Hilton. Was it... Lori, beautiful and rich. Lori loves parties, especially a party on a haunted train with world famous detective. It had Dino, Tino Balducci, Charlena Purcell. Um, it also had the minor costume. She was supposed to be like Paris Hilton. Yeah, it was weird. Oh, and Tino Balducci and Lori used to date, didn't they? And it was weird. Um, I absolutely love the story of this one. But it, I don't think it's quite A You know what? It's A tier. Not best of the best. So we can do, we can say A tier because it was it was good, but I don't think it would be best of the best. Yeah, it was Fatima. Fatima was a uh, taffy shop. Copper Gorge Museum and Taffy Shop. And then John Gray, the host of Ghost Chasers, was there as well. A letter for... Oh, I forgot that it was a letter from Lincoln. Okay, Danger by Design. I mean, this one, y'all, this one gave us Manette. Did we... We went to Paris? Were we in Paris? We went to Paris to work as a fashion assistant or Manette. Y'all, I don't know how we could put this in any other tier. It had covered up alien tattoos. It had shopping at, at like flea markets in Paris. It had the Parisian underground. It had smirking in the poo. It had the black bodysuit. I thought that was the Italian one. We forged art. We forged art. Is this the one I blew myself up in a photo lab? It had JJ. Yeah, this is the one I blew myself up in a photo lab. It was all, it was so much fun. And there was like a secret bookcase in that room or whatever. The paint bomb. And it was all, y'all. Oh, and the mystery. Don't get me started on what the mystery was. 
The mystery was why is she acting weird, wasn't it? Y'all. The mystery was why is she acting weird? Was that it? And it's because she got a tattoo. <laughs> ah! I don't remember anything about JJ. I remember the other girl who we worked with. Oh! She literally fought us. That's one of the... Oh, I gotta move it up in that tier two even. Gigi, thank you for the bits again. And fish other... 12 months? Uh, I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, oh boy. We're getting to some real flops here. We have Creature of Kapu Cave. Is that this one? D. Y'all, this game was not the move. Do y'all remember how bad this game was? I mean, not that it was bad, bad. You love that one? This one had bug turds. And normally, I, I'm fine talking about bug turds. I love talking about bug turds. I love talking about dung beetles. But this one had a lot of bug turds. This one had, um... Oh, it had the guy who was snoring. You remember the guy who was snoring? It had Dr. Quigley. She was up a tree, wasn't she? Oh, didn't Joe get kidnapped or something? Or or slapped in the face? Didn't Frank and Joe get like... Yeah, the Wax Twins were there. I forgot they were actually in the game. Joe got bonked. He went to the hospital. Okay, well, yeah, I didn't like... This one was definitely not a favorite. By the end, I wanted to jump into the lava myself. Okay, White Wolf of Icicle Creek. I'm pretty sure I gave this one a high rating because I got to throw snowballs at a child. I got to literally take a child down with snowballs. Um, was that this one? Oh, yeah, this one had... <gasps> this one had the guy in the, in the snowsuit, didn't it? It had, it had fox and geese, which was awful. This one might get a B. I feel like Chucky and carbon monoxide are... Well, Chucky deserves to go there, but carbon monoxide might be a C game. C for carbon monoxide, and, and we'll just leave this tier as Chucky. Because I can't say that Ghost of Thornton Hall was better than this. I can't say Ghost of Thornton Hall was better than this. Oh, the snowmobile blew up! That part was really good. This is, is this where 323 started? So we'll say Chucky and 323. This is, it's getting a little messy, the tier list. The snowmen screaming when you hit them. And it had a dog. It had a really nice dog. That was a, it was a cute dog. I'm not dressing as Jane. Well, for the right amount of money, you know I will. <laughs> Legend of the Crystal Skull. So this had, this game is very interesting in that someone in my chat, wasn't it their dad? who voiced one of the characters? Am I thinking, am I misremembering? Was that a different one? Someone in the chat's dad voiced one of the characters. Hen Henry? Was Henry the emo one? It was interesting. Was their dad a spot? Their dad was a dragon. This one, I, I, I gotta tell you, it had the antique shop. I just, for whatever reason, I didn't click with this one. It had the weird gardener lady. I remember we fell down in a hole and they were trying to trap us in the hole. I remember hating going through the graveyard. It was not fun to navigate the, gra the graveyard. Um, oh, it had a... 
They had a swamp. I might give this one like a C. Oh no, love New Orleans. The, it wasn't anything about the setting. It's just, I didn't find the story very memorable. The cemetery was too huge. You had to do this wild, like, miniature puzzle for it. Yeah, I didn't love it. Wait. Was this the one with the iguana, though? Was this the one with the iguana, or was that a different one? This one was the iguana that we got to dress up. I'm still going to have to give it a C. We loved the iguana, though. Okay, the Phantom of Venice. I mean, y'all. Right there. Best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Scopa. Could play Scopa all day. Nancy Drew in a cat suit, dancing on stage. Could do it all day. Pigeons? Spying? What, what was his name? Colin? Colin Baxter? Now, I will tell you, I got really darn sick of doing the tessel, tessel, tessellations or whatever. We love Margarita. Uh, Enrico. Amazing. Oh, hired by lit oh, sausage sleuths. Ate the poison sausage. Sausage sleuth. Set to bellow. Oh my God. Um, um. Wait, wait, wait. Something else happened. Working with the Italian FBI. Hired by the Italian FBI. Italian Duolingo. Hayden Panettiere! Hayden Panettiere copied and pasted into the game. The costumes, changing outfits, the wigs, wearing wigs. Bees, killing bees. Samantha, quick! This game had it. There's a reason I've played this one twice. There's a reason I played this one twice already. Killing bees and learning Italian. Don't kill, kill, bees are really good, so don't kill bees in real life. But yeah, solidly best of the best. Best of the best of the best of the best. Uh, oh. Oh, I skipped ahead. I thought Waverly Academy was next. It's Haunting of Castle Malloy. Never mind. I was I was getting ready to move on. I thought we were going to Warnings at Waverly Academy. No, I wasn't about to throw up. I was having a moment. Haunting of Castle Malloy. Jetpack. Ireland. Ireland jetpack. I hated the sheep. Those sheep can fucking We should have we should have ran them off the cliff, Mama. However, solidly. Now, did she car crash? Did she car crash to get there? I don't remember. Awful accents. I remember that. Jetpacking was so much fun. There were some good puzzles. There were some good puzzles. Crash in the car. I'm going to have to give it. I'm going to give it A tier. I'm going to give it A tier. Car crash. Castle, weird like wedding situation. What was the mystery? The mystery was that this poor old lady was living in a swamp and no one was helping her. Wasn't that the mystery? Oh, a banshee! And someone was living in the walls. Someone went missing. Oh, and his name was Kyler. His name was Kyler. The groom disappeared. No, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know who Kyler is. Was Kyler the groom? Oh, her name was Kyler. His name was Matt. And Matt, did Matt go missing? Matt went missing. And he was dying in the walls. I don't even remember the plot. And then there was a subplot of the woman that no one was taking care of. 
Matt was kidnapped by the grandma and she fed him potatoes. Got it. Thank you for the bits, pianist Leah. Henry, thank you for the freaking 21 months. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Rach, thank you again for the bits. Brittany May, thank you for the bits as well. Fish other, did I say thank you for the 12 months? I think I did, but thank you again. And Cosmos, thank you for the bits. Not this. Not this. Okay, we have Ransom of the Seven Ships, which I haven't played and which I probably will never play. Um, for reasons it's it's unobtainable anymore. Flop. I think we put it in a flop tier last time. Tier nothing. Not a, we'll make a we'll make a tier that's not available. Y'all say the puzzle suck. I already read the plot of it. And I don't, it didn't make me really want to play it, so that's fine. Why is this, why are these new tiers different? This one's a different color. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I changed the wrong color. Oh, oh my God. What color was it? What about the background color? Why is the background color different? I'm just going to pretend it's not. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend it's not. I'm just going to pretend it's fine. Shikshin, thank you for the four months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Alexa, did we have 323 three viewers for a moment? Oh, it's M2B. It's meant to be. Thank you so much. Oh, and just in time for perhaps one of the most iconic Nancy Drew games of all time. Warnings at Waverly Academy. This game led to me wearing a wig that later gave me COVID. The wig didn't give me COVID. I think this has to be... I think this has to be my favorite Nancy Drew game. Private school student, undercover, Becca Sawyer. The cast is just unhinged to the max. Unhinged to the max. This gave us Bachel. I don't know if Eric's here, but Eric... Uh, called her Bachel for the first time, which is Rachel and Bachel, Wall Rachel. It's named Bachel. This gave us Go Back to France. We did everyone's homework. I didn't, I don't like the computer stuff. The computer stuff is a little too much for me in that game. Sneaking around at night. Libraries, love libraries. Darts! Oh, all the games you play with what's her name. All the games you play with what's her name. What else did this game give us? It gave us, oh, they were all trying to get valedictorian. It gave us taking weird pictures. It gave us all of the games that we played. Ice hockey, air hockey even. It snowed. There was a cult. We, we fell out of a tree chasing a squirrel. There are definitely, I have to say, there will always be some puzzles that I cheat at in this one. And that one of those will be the squirrel one. But loved it. Loved it. The RA catching us, making slop for people. <laughs> you know, that is true. Cello, uh, the girl from Monster High. What was I game boomered the whole thing? That's probably a lot of them. I will say the the plot did not really make sense. The whole Edgar Allan Poe thing. But the rest of it, fun. Fun. Love being undercover. 
Um, Cosmos, thank you for the bits. Leah, thank you again for the bits. Kit Kat Moss, thank you so much. Batty Rowan. Oh, it was a good one. That's a good one to start with. Thank you for the bits. Gigi, thank you for the bits. The double lettuce on toasted bread sandwiches. Oh, you need the Egg Allen Poe basement pick? I got it on call. The nose blush. <laughs> and Leah, thank you again for the bits. I appreciate that. Okay, Trail of the Twister. This one had storm chasing, but mo more importantly, this one had paw pennies. I ate the moon chunk. This is the one where I had to save up money for a moon chunk and then I ate it. It's B tier. I'm gonna have to say that it's B tier. Um, because the story was eh. It was a lot of chores. We did a lot of chores. But Paw Pennies. But Paw Pennies and eating the moon chunk on accident. The, oh, the driving! The driving was good. The driving was actually really good. Kick at Moss, thank you again for the bits. I don't remember any of these characters except Pa. I don't know who Tobias is, Frosty. I don't know who Chase is. I don't know who Debbie is. I don't know who Scott is. I just remember Pa. Okay, Shadows at the Shadow at the Wooder's Edge. Location we love. Location we love. This game dragged. We love the robotic cat. We love, um, some of the puzzles were good. Yeah, the accents were not it. But this one was L-O-N-G. It was a little too long. I think they could have wrapped it up a little bit earlier. Um, jump scares were actually pretty good. The ghost. If I'm remembering correctly, the ghost was a robot. The ghost was a robot. Um, I do remember the thing that we had to do with the picture frame or whatever. Moving all of those awful things around the picture frame. This one had good... This is probably the most jump scares I've seen in a Nancy Drew game that I've enjoyed. The subway, once I learned it, was kind of the move. The wires, yeah. Robotic Cat was pretty good. But I have to give it... I mean, I don't think it belongs down here with like... I think it's a B. I think it's a B. Um... Solidly B. There were times I didn't know what to do. Y'all say, some of y'all say C tier. But it, it had some redeeming qualities. It had the location. The location was fun. The art was pretty. Even if the accents were not it. All right, we've got the captive curse. For whatever reason, I don't remember this one at all. But I remember being held hostage, having to play games with this child. Oh, is that cow eating game? I remember there was an old lady who was very mean to me, which I was upset about, because usually I'm kindred spirits with the elderly. I remember a monster. I don't remember even what the monster was supposed to be. Um, I don't remember a lot, if we're being honest. I remember not enjoying the layout. Was there Ned relationships drama? I gotta put it in C. The germ... It, 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 so let me read the plot. I claimed a young woman reputed to be wearing a particular necklace. Yeah, I see it doesn't even make sense to me. Someone, the monster was going to kill someone. Was it, 
Was it like a Frankenstein looking thing? I gotta say, I might need to replay this one because I just don't remember it. I just don't remember it. They fought on the phone. They need to break up. They need to break up. It didn't even feel like a castle. It felt like it felt like a, a Disney castle recreation. Okay, we've got a Libby in ashes. Nancy goes to prison, so B tier. B tier for prison. B for burning down the town hall and going to prison. We didn't know who Libby was. Uh, I was confused the whole game. I didn't know who Libby was. Nancy goes to prison. It was a little confusing having to be so many different people. I'm only used to being myself. And myself is Nancy Drew. I remember ice cream. I remember Deirdre. Um, playable characters. Characters. Tony Scalari. I don't remember anything else. I remember um, going, I remember I got out of prison and then I went back to prison almost immediately. 911 worked. Oh, that's interesting. I remember the, an yeah, the antique guy. No, I don't even remember the Coco Kringles. Was it fun? B it was like B tier fun. Oh, the reporter. Hmm. It was okay. I, I don't remember the under... I, oh, I kind of remember the underground tunnels. Tony! Did we, did we pronounce it like that? B tier. Tomb of the Lost Queen. All right, this is the first one I played publicly. This was the one that started it all. That said, where y'all said, I want more of this. Give me, give me more. Give me more. Give me, give me more. In this one, we love the setting. I mean, Egypt, y'all know as a kid, I wanted to be an Egyptologist, study ancient Egypt. This one was fun. I remember the wall fell on that person. A tier for starting it all. It, I think it's A tier. I think it holds up with, like, I think of this one as like Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. The, the, the lady who loved aliens, who is very into aliens. Um, it, uh, dung beetles, scare beetles. Uh, poo poo beetles the snake we almost got killed by the snake I enjoyed putting together the artifacts the plot definitely didn't make sense but we got to go in like an ancient Egyptian tomb that was fun um, snooping in someone's bag that's fun and someone was trying to like mess up the whole thing it had, it even had conversation about like what? Who was the guy who was like selling artifacts and stuff? So that was interesting at least. We lived in a tent. That's a, that makes me not like it though. It was, it was good. It was solidly A tier. I <laughs> became fluent in ancient Egyptian. That was, um, yeah, that one, it would be interesting to replay that one, knowing all I know about Sunny June now. And I remember having to jump over stuff, too. Okay, we're rounding it up. The deadly device. We're in the home stretch. Okay. Love the naked robot cat and the girl who kept giving me gummy bears. N never figured out what her name was. Um, we loved the the security guy who hated his job. Security guy hated his job. Um, 
This one was a... Oh, and this one was a murder. This one was a murder. We love the ones where we're solving an actual murder. This one had the, the, the two office workers who were both no-nonsense. This one had 3D printing. It was really bringing us into the 21st century. It was really bringing us into the 21st century with 3D printing. Office workers who hate each other. Naked robot cat. Um, getting Did I get electrocuted to, te to death at one point? I will say I needed game boomers a lot for this one. I very much needed a lot of game boomers for this one. We killed the culprit. Did the culprit die? Women in STEM. We love, we love to see it. Elevators. Don't have to take the stairs. I remember not particularly enjoying the puzzles, but game boomers kind of took care of that. I also remember it being a little bit long. So, um, we're going to give it an A. No, this was not the ski outfit. That was White Wolf, White Wolf Lodge. That would have been weird if there was someone in a ski outfit inside the lab. That would have been weird. That would have been weird. Silent Spy. Okay, in this one... <laughs> this one was so bad. <laughs> This one was so bad, it might have been good. Do you know what I mean? Gigi, thank you for the bits. And Francie B, thank you for the bits too. Oh, that's awesome. This one, we had, we found out a lot about Nancy's mom. And then also that woman went missing. She got kidnapped and then she said, don't worry about it. Absolutely plucked. Hiding in the closet. I didn't like this one. I found this one tedious. I found this one tedious. I liked Zoe. She was okay. It would have been a whole lot easier if everyone had just kind of sat down and had a conversation. But they didn't do that. But they didn't do that. <laughs> we got told that Nancy's that Nancy's mom was a spy about 20 to 30 times. <laughs> Not this. I'm gonna have to give it a B tier. I'm gonna have to give it a B tier. Samantha Quick, kind of a flop. I didn't think she was gonna be that much of a flop and she was kind of a flop. Bridget kept getting... Was that Bridget who kept getting kidnapped? I don't know who Bridget is. This one had Ewan. Moira. Oh, well, Moira. That was Moira. Moira kept getting... I don't know. Even her dad... Even Nancy's Drew dad didn't want to help her. Her dad said... I don't care. So yeah, this is a solid, very solid B. Oh my God. The shittered medallion. D. Y'all, it's the way that this one was the most not fun I've ever had. <laughs> Wait, I remember a bridge broke. Oh, yeah, and she fell off the bridge when the bridge broke. Did we get to see her fall off the bridge? Because I don't remember that at all. I can't even comprehend. Bess was so annoying. Who's Bud? I don't know who Bud is. Sunny June was not impressive. Sunny June was w weird. And also, he's gay. Why didn't they just tell him? He's gay. He's gay. Is he gay? He's gay. Why are we not acting like he's not gay? 
Or why are we acting like he's not gay? Well, they didn't, instead of like, he wasn't gay, didn't they like link him with various women? And it was like, no, 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 he's gay. Oh, that was Bud. Patrick. Hey, Bud. Do you like rugby? Him. Yeah, the best Sunny crush thing was weird. I didn't like it. Oh, he's supposed to be... Is that canon? Well, it was an... I mean, when I say it was an okay game, I mean it was bad. I don't ever want to play it again. Oh, said he isn't straight. Well, that's good. That's good. Because I feel like they, I felt like they had queer coded Sunny June, and then there was all this like crush stuff. And I was like, no, let's not recon it. No. Solid D, though. I think Bud is from the fishing game. Okay, Labyrinth of Lies. Okay. When I tell you that they told us who did it at the beginning, they told me. Very predictable. But I, even saying that, I pretty much guessed who did it in most of the games. So, some of the puzzles were good. Some of them were not very intuitive. The plot was a mess. A mess. The The budget of the play was kind of wild. I actually enjoyed some of the characters. I liked um, the guy whose name wasn't really his name. Gregor? Grigor? Uh, Thanos... Oh, yeah, he murdered people. And then we acted like he didn't. We acted like he didn't. We fell in the lava, too, though. We fell in, we got to fall in the lava. I liked the skeleton boat. Um, that skeleton was hot. The skeleton was hot. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll give it a C. We'll give it a C. The, the, the skeleton was my cameo. Okay, I know which one is next. Sea of Darkness. This one had confirmed gays in it. And the only thing I didn't like about this game is I thought the gay should have got away with it. I thought Soren should have got away with it. I thought he should have burned the town to the ground, rebuilt it as like a, a gay community. <laughs> you know, like Asheville. You know, it was really going to be the new Asheville. <laughs> I've never been to Asheville. It was going to be the new Asheville. It was going to be DuPont Circle. But I do like that we got to choose whether or not he was like punished at the end. So he kind of did get away with it. What did he, no, what did he really do? Did he just kidnap someone and put him in a cave? Is that it? Mama, that's DuPont Circle. That's Annie's Paramount Steakhouse. <laughs> Mama, that's Annie's Paramount Steakhouse. That's drag brunch at Annie's Paramount Steakhouse in D.C. Okay? That's what I wanted. What did he do? Did he just kidnap someone? I mean, whatever. 
I don't know. I wanted him to get away with it. He, I guess he kind of did, but I want, he was just treated so poorly. Even Dagny, we love Dagny as well. I liked the setting in this one because I like being cold. I think there's an argument for it being an A tier. I think there's an argument, but I am going to put it in B tier. The graphics were good. You know what, though? There was that awful... Okay, Gunner. Oh, and there was a dog. There was a dog. I liked the dog. I'm going to put it in A tier. We'll put it in... These aren't necessarily in order in the tiers, except for this tier. Best of the best is in order, but the rest of them are not. These are, yeah, the best of the best is in order, but the rest of these are not necessarily in order. Okay, now we come to a very controversial video game known as Midnight in Salem. And I have to tell the chat right now. Y'all can eat shit, because this was a good game. <laughs> Y'all can eat it. Y'all don't taste that? Chat. Y'all don't taste that? That shit in your mouth? This one had the second best jump scares in it because of Deirdre. This one had the second best <laughs> gift five uh, gift five subs if you disagree with me. <laughs> Not that, Ryan. Let me say, Deirdre jump scares, iconic. I only wish we had had free movement. The movement made me sick. I wish we had free movement. We made pancakes, that's true. The Hardy Boys finally looking like humans. The Hardy Boys got the Pinocchio treatment, finally turned into real boys. Okay. Uh, the sad girl on her phone. This is the only Nancy Drew game that doesn't have its own Wikipedia page. <laughs> I just remember it. I just remember it because it was that fucking good. The mayor's son in his rich car uh, looking at footage. I will say that the... Oh! The woman who ran the tea shop? They were all on drugs, Mom. And everyone was on drugs. They got the drugs. They were on Delta 8. They were drugged. Ergot. Mama, she won the Grammy, the Oscar, the Tony. She got the Ergot. <laughs> the Emmy, the Grammy, the Oscar, the Tony, the Ergot. <laughs> What's the R stand for? <laughs> Not the Egot! Ah! It had the Halloween store. Mama, we got the, the Razzie. The Razzie. <laughs> we won the Ergot. Oh my God. Sniffing around in the cemetery with the Hardy Boys after dark. Joe Hardy hitting the Delta 8. Finally leaving Ned and hooking up with Frank. Oh, the best part, Frank or Ned wasn't even in it. Okay, that's solid A tier. We'll move it up here in A tier, actually. I'm gonna replay that one soon. I'm gonna replay it that one soon and see if it holds up. And and then we'll see if the clue crew stick around. <laughs> then we'll see if the clues crew stick around. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 
All right, we've got the dossier games. <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't even remember who did it. Who even did it in that game? Pianist Leah, thank you again for the bits. It's just the drugs. The psychic. Ashley, thank you for the bits. Happy Tuesday. I'm feeling a lot better. Took some Pepto. Feeling a lot better. Mirrorball, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. We'll be replaying it. We'll be replaying it. <laughs> okay, the dossier games. Lights, camera, curses. I really liked. I give that one an A. Once again, ancient Egyptian, ancient Egyptian set. Um, just really weird characters. Honestly, sent everyone to prison. <laughs> Not the culprit. It was her interactive. The voices. It was all amazing. Amazing. Deirdre's voice acting was actually really good. Oh, but Nancy did have a new voice actor, which was a little upsetting. Yeah, both of the dossier games, very fun. I will say I liked the this one a little bit less. I'll give Resorting to Danger a solid B. And I'll give Lights, Camera, Curses a solid A. Um, Liked the cat in this in Lights, Camera, Curses. And this one had like a different murderer every time or whatever they did. I didn't like the garden part. The garden part was stressful. Should I rank America's Next Top Model since it's Nancy's voice actor? No, I shouldn't. And I shan't. <laughs> Thank you, Final Kate, for the bit. I would rank that C tier, honestly, though. Well, probably B tier. Probably B tier. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, and that's it. That's my tier list, I guess. So best of the best. I've already replayed two of these. Waverly Academy, Danger by Design, uh, Phantom of Venice. I would like to revisit Shadow Ranch soon. My cutoff of games I replay, I'd replay any of them. I will tell you, well, D tier, I will probably not replay. I don't think I would replay D tier unless a, a large amount of money were involved. Oh, I'd love to do Professor Layton series. I would, I would probably not play these three again. I did not enjoy those. Um... So no. Cloak Sword, am I gonna play the Miss Clue games? I plan on it. I plan on playing some of them, trying some of them. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna end the tier list stream. Hold on. Can we zoom out so we can see them all? Eh, kinda. You don't really need to see the not available one. There's the there's the ultimate tier list. And I'll also save it and I'll put it in the Discord for future reference as well. But we're going to end the stream for uh, the YouTube video right here. And then I will, um, I'll probably edit this and it'll probably be up Thursday. I'll probably edit it be up Thursday. But stick around if you're on Twitch because we're going to stick, because we're going to, we're going to try to make a list of some other games to play as well. We're going to have some fun. Okay. So, um, ah, oh, I got to start hitting the button before I start making those noises. Ah. Oh. Thank y'all so, oh, I'm gonna get emotional. It's the end of an era, but it's the beginning of something much worse. <laughs> much more evil, evil is here. I will be replaying many of these games. Thank y'all so much for being here, for playing the Nancy Drew games with me. All the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Show the reason I get to, I've gotten to do all of these games, holy cow. Thank you so much. Send in lo LOL, lots of love. Stay hydrated. If you're in Twitch, stick around. 
because we're going to be having more fun. <laughs> Love y'all so much. Bye. <laughs> Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> Where's the honk?